Good morning guys, welcome back to you today. I just wanted to tell you guys, I'm a genius. I'm a freaking genius. Probably all know that I'm a genius already, but I just wanted to point it out because our curriculum still has not arrived and it's probably gonna be here like in a few days by the end of this week or by the middle of next week. We're just waiting on good old fashioned Canada Post. But I was able to find a way to print off the first chapter of each of their new textbooks. Yep, that's me. Me the genius. I found a way for us to start school on time even without our workbooks. I'm so proud of myself. Yeah, yesterday school was definitely better. We've done our morning meeting. We have done our read together. We've done our reading alone. And now we're just doing regular old school. What subject are you doing, Gabby? Language. Language. Gabby's got her language book. Language, language arts. What book are you doing? What, what are you working on, Sophie? Language arts as well. Wow, and I'll let them pick, you guys. Copied me after I picked mine. That's what happens when you have younger sisters. They just copy you. No, she said she was picking the other one. Anyway, it doesn't matter. They all have to get done. But what's interesting about language arts is that when I was in school, it was my favorite thing, language arts. So it's interesting to see my girls pick it. I have a feeling Gabby will enjoy it a lot this year and Sophie will not. <laughs> I thought yours was geometry or whatever. Oh, I hated math, but I like math now. No, it wasn't math. It was geography and history. The way we learned geography and history in school was awful. It was all memorize these dates and memorize this and memorize that but the way that we're learning geography and history oh my goodness this is so much better it's like a story telling the story of our history telling the story of geography and so it's been super cool i've been loving that so much i have a new map i have more maps i just don't want to ruin it by posting it up there but that's been the map that we've been using for a long time and do you guys know that when we first started our channel and we first started to get like a lot of kids on our channel we started to map out where you guys were from and so we had like a lot of people from europe a lot of people from the states some people from canada and some people from australia now there's less people from australia yep some people from new zealand um uh, moscow Moscow. It's in Russia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One person in Moscow. We should do that again. We should get a new map and map out all of our mm. subscribers and our see. Oh, and somebody in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to today's video. Today we're back at riding, and now that it is fall, no, all me. of our lessons are changing and moving around. Not me. Yeah, Sylvia is not going back to riding. Um, we want to make sure that her head is okay before she goes back, and she seems okay, but because when you ride like you're at more risk of falling than if you're like not not riding so i don't want her to fall really soon after a concussion and i want her to take the time that she needs to heal plus she doesn't have a new helmet she needs a new helmet for yeah, sure helmet. we ordered it and as soon as it comes she should be ready on monday she should be ready to ride on monday so hopefully ride today. hopefully her helmet is here on monday just to make life interesting though, every single peop like so many people that I know have all fallen in the last few days, like in the last week. <laughs> it's just yeah, insane. Done we yeah. are done with fall. Daisy. Is she being a princess? She is. She is being a princess. Every morning after we're done school. Are you done school? We're done yes. school. Uh, every, Gabby just finished school. But any every morning after we're done school, we arrange some kind of treat that we can give to the chickens so last night we had cabbage so we're going to give them some cabbage leftover cabbage and then sophie had a, a peach and so we're going to cut that up Ooh, and give them the rest of that sophie and i sold four chickens last week i think i didn't vlog about it we sold all the cochins you guys know that the coaches were those big fluffy things that were my dream chicken for the longest time well it turns out that they hardly lay like it takes them till they're like a year and a half practically to lay and when they do lay they don't lay often and they're just big and bulky and take up so much space and even though they're adorable and they're cute ours were not so super friendly and all of our other chickens are friendly like when we come out here they all run to the door as soon as they hear us and i know it's because we bring them treats and they love that but they did not do that and so i decided we decided to get out of cochins we had really pretty cochins but we don't have them anymore that's that's 
So instead, we're gonna do silkies. Silkies are our favorite. These are silkies right here. <laughs> That's the boy, and he's such a spaz, but I love him so much. He just runs around like a crazy chicken. He gets nervous and scared, and he just runs around. And then our girl is right there, and I love her. Yes, she's just the sweetest chicken ever. So we sold them for a really good price so that we can find them a home quickly before like the colder weather gets here, because it feels so cold. I know it's gonna get warm again, but it feels so cold lately. And Sophie made, so Sophie got to keep all the money, and she made $60 selling chickens which was really good and she's saving it what are you saving it for sophie um a miniature pony yeah she wants to buy another miniature pony so she's saving her money which is a really good thing for her to save and i'm contemplating getting rid of two more before our new chicken coop gets here and what two the problem is i can't choose between any of them like the two that I don't know. I just can't like the one that we're down to the wire you guys. We're down to all the ones we love the best. So Sophie does not like this one here. This little one that's my favorite. But I love her so I just can't imagine getting rid of her. She's just a sweet docile chicken just like the silkies and she is part silky. And that's why I think I love the silkies so much. They're just so docile but he is such a stunning beautiful boy. And then we have these little tiny frizzles and the frizzles I'm not completely sold on, but I love them. Like, I'm excited to see how they turn out. They're our least friendly chickens. They're like the most shy, scared, nervous ones. But we have a black one and we have a gray one. There's the gray one right there. And honestly, they're so cute. And I just can't see getting rid of them. We're currently getting about four eggs a day, or around four eggs a day. And I don't want to mess with that. Our chickens are going to start up laying soon. The older ones will start molting. One has already started molting and stopped laying. So I don't want to mess with our egg production too soon. Did you get some eggs? Oh, pink. let me show you. Pink? Pink. Pink. We have had pink eggs before. I don't think this one's pink though. That is pink. Look, but look at this beautiful blue. Yeah, the blue is beautiful. Show them which chicken lays this beautiful <laughs> blue egg. It gets so pretty. That one. So today we only have two so far. That gray one. That gray one right there. She is old, getting old, but she lays us the blue eggs. Can I show them something with this one? This is my favorite jump, chicken right jump. now. Jump. Jump. Come on. Jump. Typically she'll jump for eggs. Nope. Not Excuse today. Me. I love her. She's still a baby. She hasn't started laying. So this has become our regular school so day routine. We do the chickens every morning and then we go and do the horses. The horses are done first thing. And then we go down and bring them in after school. Oh, look at you. Oh my goodness. Isn't she adorable? That's what I love about. So she's a, she's a sizzle. So she's a frizzle, but she's crossed with a silky. <laughs> and they make these really cute little sounds. Like silkies are adorable. She's got a good weight to her though. It wouldn't surprise me if it's the sizzles that are laying. But look at how cute her hair is. See your hair. Wait. See how it has like this big puff on top? You're so cute. Oh my goodness. She's adorable. She is adorable. You are adorable. So have you guys seen that TikTok where they have like the rooster that runs to greet the girl when she comes home from the bus? Reminds me of my friend that is like obsessed with her chickens and the little girl and she the chickens all run with and follow her and our chickens are like that too they're not free range but when we come out they all run to us <laughs> they crowd the door and they all start screaming and oh, they and get so excited can't, get in you can't even get in like it. yeah it's so fun like chickens are so freaking fun that is the most beautiful thing it's the most beautiful thing you can ever see on earth when a boy walks up to his girl in excitement. Look at this big handsome looking boy. He looks so good. He's, this rest has done him so good. Now the fact that I have to walk out there and get my horse. <laughs> He's not as beautiful. <laughs> if you ever want someone to make you look bad, get your horses or your children. They will always make you look bad. They never do what you want them to do. They always do what they want to do. 
Sophie got smart. She waits for me to come out and get my horse. And then uh, the other horses just follow. Just follow behind. Come on. Come on, Penny Pickle. Come on. Come on. So, Chida, if you guys have been following the saga of Chino and his women, um, this week he's been hanging out with the new woman in his life, Gracie. So every week one goes into heat. <laughs> Every few days, another one goes into heat, and essentially he's with that one. The funniest one, I feel like, was Penny. She was hilarious with him because she doesn't like anything. She doesn't want anything to do with him <laughs> other than when she's in heat. Come on. I need to bring my pony. Did your pony come? Yeah, one's coming. We love just not go anywhere without Penny. Yeah, and Gracie? She will Gracie. fit underneath Molly. the fence that she cannot fit under to get to Penny. I love Willow. I love Willow too. I would get another mini in a second. I would get five more in two seconds. Like minis are so much fun. Come on Gracie, we're all waiting on you. Oh, now I see why she's Gabby's horse. <laughs> this is what we spend our lives doing. I can tell by the clip clop of her hooves on the cement if she needs her feet picked and which one needs picked. Okay. Come on, little chubby. Hello, Penny Pickle. And she finally caught her horse. Come uh, on, Gracie girl. Let me teach you Gracie is the kind of horse that beats to her own drum. I mean, you need to go back to school, Mom. Because I left the door open? Yeah. I left the door open, but you had her on a lead rope. Why'd you take your lead rope off if the door was open? Huh? 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 Because I thought you were going to close it. Oh. <laughs> Hello! Alright, let's go. We have a field trip. You... No! Yeah, let's go. You guys might think school is finished already, but it's not. We have a field you trip. Know, our field trips are trips to the barn. To the yeah, barn. we're doing that today too. Gabby says she remembers field trips from school and she loved it because... I remember sometimes when we were at school and um, Dad would come pick us up like, Hey, yeah, let's go to riding lessons. Really? Yeah. I remember that happening once. It probably happened more. <laughs> anyway, we're heading on a field trip, and then school will be over for My us for the day. My nails coming off. I don't like. Did your nails grow underneath? Let's see. Oh my gosh. So that used to be why, like, my friends would always get acrylic nails. My pinkies are like. So that their nails underneath would grow, and Sophie's have all grown. Have your nails grown underneath? No, underneath. Yes, they have. They have grown. Wow. Might have grown more. No. So cool. You have to be quiet in this one. Yes. We're not a quiet family. It's a quiet person. Cheaters. So we are at the library. We've never been to this library before. We've had to change libraries to one that's more local. Apparently my kids are not good in libraries. Maybe need to discuss it with them. <laughs> I really need to buy a new little camera. I'm just really undecided on what I want to get. I don't want to get the regular Canon G7X again because I've never had anything but problems with it. The only good thing about it is I can adjust the light. But anyway, we're at the library and I think I read that. So look for, look for craft books. I found a horse book. I don't know where it went though. But look for craft books. <laughs> oh, look at that. Seven, 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 seven. That means we're going to have good luck. Oh, there's a lot of sevens. Holy moly, that's a sign. Look for craft books for your, your clay. Okay, they have a coffee section. It's a dollar. One dollar, you can make yourself a coffee. How do you Right, so there is a teen section right here. Do they have a craft section? Did you find anything? No. Look at... Yeah, it's kind of like a love book, I think. So anyway, let's look up craft books and see if we can find... Parenting, gardening, agriculture, cookbooks, organizing, needlework, decorating, antiques. I just sat down. I looked at these books and didn't even think anything of it. And then Cappy sees them and is like, these are the ones. No, they're not. Oh, they're not the right ones? No. Shoot. Mm -hmm. 
Don't you know that you're beautiful?